What's up everybody? Chaos Dark Soul here, back for some more Pokemon TCG openings. And today I have two of these blister packs. Now I've been doing quite a bit of these blister packs. And the reason is, honestly, this is like... Without ordering online, this is one of the most cost-effective ways of buying packs. Because at Walmart... One of these is $11.99, or $11.98, whatever it is, compared to getting one booster pack for $4.18, and if you get the booster pack that comes with a promo card, it's like $4.98 or whatever. So, almost $5. So you pay $12 for one of these, or like, you know, $12.60 for three, just three packs. You're saving $0.60, cents which doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're buying them quite often, it does add up. And then, you're also getting the cool promo. You know, you get either the Celebi or the Sableye here. If you're getting, like, Ancient Origins, you got the Salamence and Malamar. Normally, the promos aren't all that great, but, you know... They're still promos. They're still nice to have. And go ahead and set that off to the side. And even though most people don't need 50 bajillion coins, you still get the coins. I mean, it's Froki, Chespin, or or Fennekin, but still, it's still a coin. I can't say that you know you can never have too many. As I bumped the camera. Because you, you certainly can in, in most, like, tournament play stuff anyways. They just use the the dice from the Elite Trainer boxes. So, it's not like you're going to use the coins. But still, it's an added thing that you get. I don't really care for the coins. But I did get a... Brokey one, because I feel like with all my breakthrough blister packs that I've gotten, I don't think I've pulled... I don't think... Well, I don't think I've pulled. You can see it in the front of the cover. There's a chest bin. But I don't think I've bought one that had a Froakie coin with it. So we got six packs here. We got the stacks. Doesn't really matter what the... What's what. We got a lot of Mega Houndoom, and... Two, well, two Mega Mewtwo's, one being X, one being Y. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with one of these Mega Houndoom packs. Not like it really matters. Hoping for the frickin' commons that I don't have yet. Hoping for stupid Paris and whatever that other stupid common that I don't have is. And there's two commons that I don't have. At Remoraid, Spritzy, Cyndaquil, Hoot Hoot, Mischievous, so no commons that I needed there, Parallel City, trying to frickin' Sea King, Cacturn, Floor just br oh my god! I mean, it's a break card and I should be happy, but this is my third Floor just break. It's not even that good. Let's just real quickly see what this next card is. That's a semi pour. I don't need more floor just breaks. It's not good. It's not like deck worthy. God. But I do know, I can't really check right now, that some of them are, I guess, misprint, like it's an error on the back. Um, just depending on, like, the top of the card, like this right here, this is how it would face this way. This is how it came in the pack. But some of them are like this. So the on the back, the Pokeball will be the other way around. So it's always a good thing to check for that, but I don't have my other breaks out and about. So the pack was pretty much a dud aside from the floor just break. I guess I'll put it right there. 
Which, it's my third one. They do still count as like an ultra rare or an EX pull, I guess. So, it's still a good pull for my first pack, but it always sucks to get doubles of stuff that aren't really good. But we got pack number two here. We got a Cacnea. Another Spritzy. A Ghastly. A Doduo. There we go! I got Paris! I'm gonna be happier for this Paris more than anything else in this frickin' opening. We got Gogo, and I swear it was doing good on the Quilava. I know there's some uncommons I need to. Wobbuffet. Reverse Sand Shrew, and the rare is a Florges. To go with my Florges break, because I have enough Florgeses, too. But that Paris, I actually put that Paris off to the side, because I know it's common that I need. Oh, I know the other one. It's Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Whatever you want to call, call it. This pack's giving me trouble. And I don't know if I got it in one of those packs. I probably didn't, because I think I would know if I did. But it's fine. It's fine. If I see it, I'll, I'll get happy about that, too. First up, okay, let, let's try to hold it like this. We got... There's light reflecting. Zorua. Ralts. Panpour. Vanillite. Now it's not gonna work. Really gotta figure out the lighting and everything, and... Pants here, Vanillish, Bridget, Seeking, oh my god. Reverse Remoraid, and the rare is a Magnazone Hollow. This is actually a pretty decent card. It has the ability Magnetic Circuit as long, often as you'd like during your turn. You may attach an electric energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, so it's like the Blastoise from one of the black and white sets, I don't know, that it allowed you to do the same thing with water energies. So that's that's a good pull. I'm gonna go ahead and do this Mega Houndoom pack. We'll leave the other Mega Houndoom pack for last. I'm not sure if I have Magnazone yet or not, but it's also a card that is good. I, I guess it's good to have more than one of. So I mean I got a break and I got a hollow and I got a common that I actually needed. Okay, let's let's see. I'm gonna focus and then not have the light. Oh my god. Cacnea, a frickin' third spritzy or whatever. Ghastly. Dodo. Another frickin' Paris! I don't I'm not happy about that one now. Vanillish. Quilladin, Bahim, Reverse Hollow Pants here in the rare is a Noivern. Not, I'm not happy about that that second Paris. Not at all. That actually makes me mad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Mega Mewtwo Y pack before I do that last Houndoom pack. I'll be happy if I can get a Hippopotus, or if I can get another EX or something, full art maybe. I, I could even use another break that I don't have yet. Chespin, Inkay, Pikachu, Magnemite, Cubone, Glalie Spirit Link, Haunter, Professor's Letter, Go Goat, and a Marowak. So we got one pack left. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know, like, the ratio or anything, but a break in a hollow seems pretty good for five packs so far. Granted, it's a break that I already have, but it, it, I mean, it's not like the packs know that you already have the card or something, so... I, I don't know what you would do about that. You can't really use that logic. So we got Piplup, Noibat, Chespin, Ralts, Magnemite. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna be looking for that Hippo 
Hippopotas still. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, oh, no, okay. Cacturn, Mewtwo Spirit Link, Vanillish, Reverse Panpour, and the rare is a Hollow Empoleon. I don't have that. So that, I'll take. Uh, I'll take that. That has the ability Dignified Fighter. Each of your basic Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, your basic EXs, your, you know, anything that hasn't evolved yet can do 20 more damage, which is nice. You could, you know, combine it with Muscle Band to do 40. If you have Fighting Pokemon, it, you could combine it with Muscle Band and Fighting Energy. So, I mean, we got, we got some, some decent pulls from six packs. That's, you know, a hollow or better in every two packs. And then we got our promos. We got Sableye and Celebi. Got enough of those each now. But it's still still nice to have. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you guys want to see more Pokemon TCG openings, because obviously I have to keep buying Breakthrough, because I have one more common left to get, and a couple uncommons, and of course rares, and hollows, and EXs, make sure to subscribe, and I will definitely be doing more Pokemon TCG breakthrough openings, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.